if you could see, I got a wet head. Um, henna does make your hair feel like straw, like I said before. And um, I realized that no matter if I wash it ten times, it's... Conditioner usually makes my hair come out in chunks or fall out more easily, but as my hair was just dyed with a special type of henna. I really am happy with it, and I don't think I want to be any other color but this. This is the color I always wanted to be, and I finally achieved the type of red. You should never really wash your hair on the first day when you dye it. This is no ammonia. This is a special kind that I found online. Um, I found out the one I did before had mercury in it, which is why my hair came out two different colors. Now, this is all free henna. And I took a shower and did not bleed anywhere. And it was just so dry my hair, it felt like you know when you put gel in it? My whole head felt like that when I felt it before. So I took a shower again. My third shower today. Got more of the chunks of henna out. And this henna was different. It came in a packets. It's called the Henna Guys. It came in packets. And I got three packets. I mean, I know for long hair I should get one, but I really wanted an intense color. I left it in overnight. For this intensity of color overnight I was going to take it out around midnight but I fell asleep a deep deep sleep and I woke up and uh, I was afraid I was gonna end up B-A-L-D exclamation point I'm not bold but I found a really good conditioner the Garnier coconut oil conditioner I think that's the name of it I want to take you on a little trip to the bathroom to show you what I used. Trust me, my hair doesn't feel like straw. Yeah, I may not look my best. It might be dark. It might be wet. But this is what it looks like. Now, okay, this is the conditioner right here. Garnier Whole Blends. Coconut water and vanilla milk. Mmm, yummy. And that's the shampoo I used. I usually use this shampoo with the ceramide for damaged hair. I know my hair's not that damaged, but I don't want to take chances. So here's all my family. I couldn't find the blow dryer. I never want a wet head in a video. But it came out to a very high intensity, and I am strongly happy. Yeah, YouTube, you're going to want to fix me up for my shakiness. I totally, totally understand. Watch how this phone call takes place. Always wait for the second ring or third. Don't look fucking desperate, bitches. I'm joking. Hello? Yeah, yeah I'm filming a video. Yeah, I told... Yeah, um, no, actually. Billy's not home. I'm home alone, rocking solo. Just, uh... Well, I listen to you. I didn't take a nap and go to sleep. What? I'm a little busy right now, but what is it? What? I got, I got eggs stuck in my teeth. I got to brush my teeth. Yeah. Is it important? Let me make it more specific. Is it important to me? Come... Okay, it's important to him, it's important to me. Just come home. Bye. Love you. So, phone calls. I'm sick of the Indians that call about Verizon Wireless. They go, hello, you have computer? You got virus on your computer? When I didn't have a computer in November, it started. Long story short. I said, I don't have a computer. How is your virus if my computer's broken down? My son spilled water and poof, goodbye engine of the computer. I take my laptop, I go, go to computer, and I guide you. So he guides me through, look at all these security. I, for all the Bangladeshis and Indians, please don't take offense. I'm not mocking you. I'm not laughing at you. 
I'm laughing with you, pretty much. Hello, I find you through and I fix your computer. I said, I just got this laptop for my birthday gift. What's the goddamn effing problem? You got, so you need security and I help you for free. All right, so he gets a code, gets into my computer, the backward entrance, does some stuff, starts mixing things around, fucking things over. I want to let you know, it was very nice talking to you, but uh, eh, you got to pay $200 for what you order. I said, I never purchased an order. You want security? I give security. I said, Ma, I need a visa. I bought too much stuff on Amazon. I got a new visa, and you know what? I told the guy, it was nice talking to you, you fucking bastard. Go to hell. Slam. I still get them every day. You know what we say? We don't have a computer. Take us off the list. Yesterday, she goes, hello. I, 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 my name is Wahiri, and I want to let you know this big virus. On computer, you know I get here, go elsewhere, but Verizon, no. I was like, okay, so what are you going on? So she transfers me over to a guy, and he and I say, I know what you're up to. You want security, you want to pay for it, you want to make money. So I called him back, and it goes to Verizon Wireless, the same man, Sam answers. He goes, let me tell you something. You are head of the game. If you were in Indonesia, you would get, you would be in big, I mean, India, you would be in big trouble. You don't mess with us. We Verizon Wireless. I said, you're a phony scamps. Then my neighbor Aaron gets a call from them. Bupkis. They're awful of nothing. I don't like these people. They are just money-hungry bastards. Indian robbers. Let me get inside your computer so I can, you can pay for security. Oh my god, that woman. I'm really good with accents. I can do Chinese. Chicken tongue. Pork fry rice. They can't even say S's or words that sound. And how I heap. Oh my god. Instead of price, they go, low pry. Like that. I was like, oh my god. Go to Turo College and learn English. I wish English in Brooklyn is so diverse. If you don't speak English, it is totally okay. There is at least other useful languages. What do we have? Bangladeshis, Indians, Arabics, Russians, Hispanic especially, uh, Haitians which speak French, a little bit of French, West Indians, Trinidadians, Guyanese, uh, we have eight million people in the city. At least more than half, less than half, pretty much, immigrants. We have a little Polish community in Greenpoint. Um, we have Koreatown. We have uh, Arabians, I think I said before, Egyptians, Syrians, Orthodox Jews especially.